binge watch gang i know y'all out there you heard shout out to all the dudes binge watching on the channel look at these numbers bro look at these numbers men lie women lie but numbers don't lie baby these numbers is chunky you heard we running it and that's a fact make sure y'all tuned in z-man suicide polo with the ski man shout out to the bro simeon flatbush legend rogers avenue legend you heard my bro got deported back to guyana you feel me and it's been a long struggle and i'm gonna keep it real with you the bro got a motion picture he don't just got a story he got a motion picture you feel me so if you peoples and you out there get at me if you want to get at him you feel me because we do a lot of complaining out here in new york city thinking we got it rough but you got some dudes in third world countries and places where we don't have no idea what rough is you feel me so y'all make sure y'all pay attention man now i mean and y'all might learn something z-man let's get it you know what I'm saying? You gotta come down this side, cause you gotta go to the cell. I was waiting for the nigga. Man, I just waiting for the nigga that was coming, son. And I rocked this nigga, son. I couldn't, yo, I ain't gonna lie, son. I rocked this nigga so hard, I bust his whole shit, his nose and his mouth, so I just go back. But you said right after you did that 10 years, they came and got you? You, did you know they was coming? They knew that, you knew they was coming to get you? Yeah, I had a feeling. But to be honest with you, I wasn't too sure how serious it, you know what I'm saying, it would have been, to be honest, you know what I mean? I wasn't too sure, too sure, so it was like an upper, uh, you know, pros in the car, uh, uh, damn if you do, damn if you don't think, you know what I mean? Anyway, but this, this, this is the part, this is the part that I wanted to get in before I get into everything else is that, um, in the process of, 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 of me going from the transition from upstate, so Valve Street, Valve Street is where they used to hold the immigrations, the, the, the immigrants, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know about Valve Street. You, you heard of Valve Street, right? Oh, you said Varick Street? Nah, I didn't know they hold it. That's where they hold people they deport. What? What is wrong? That's where they carried me, King. But here what happened. Here what happened. When, um, when, when um, um, Obama was going there, before Obama was going there to the, to, to, um, to, uh, to immigration, they had some dudes on the bus making a lot of noise. You know what I'm saying? These niggas was cutting up at the back every minute going on and the police keep telling them niggas to be quiet on the bus as we come down. Yo, what is going on, lad? I did not say not one word through how this throughout this whole trip game. But I'ma say this is one of one of the most hurtful shit that happened to me, King, is that when I reached the Barry Street, no, when, 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 no, when we reached when we reached um I think before Barry Street, we reached down state or one of them one of them um facility that releases you. But anyway, the police now when I come when we come off the bus, the police says something about uh like like i'm gonna have problems with my bag right but mind you i'm walking and i'm handcuffed i'm i'm, I'm um i'm chained to a dude walking so i wanted to show you so mommy because i know i didn't have no problems anyway sir do you know when i reached the rabbit street man the worst thing i could have man is this police going to switch to my bag with a new jack bag so in other words 10 years of my meal 10 years of my pictures my, my numbers, addresses, contacts, everything you could think about possibly, man. The one bag that I had that that I was going to immigration with, this nigga switched it with the new jack. Heard me, and just imagine, like I said, I was not making noise in over these dudes in the back of the bus. I was just sitting there humble, watching, you know what I'm saying, everybody. What is born, King? You know what I mean? Yo, this shit broke my heart, lass. Because you know what it is to lose your whole fucking information. You don't have no nothing, no address, no nothing, nothing for nobody. I'm in Barrett Street. I'm writing letters to everybody. Yo, what's going on? X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Motherfuckers ain't even answering you, King. You know what I'm saying? So, well, anyway, I'm up in Barrett Street trying to get the attention of the people like, yo, I lost my bag, X, Y, Z. I'm being recorded, X, Y, Z. I don't know what's, you know what I'm saying? Nobody ain't coming to see me. These people is not answering me. I stayed, I stayed, I stayed, I stayed in Barrett Street like at least like five or six months, right? Mm. And you know, you know, from there, right? 
five, within the five or six months, the, the, twin, the twin towers get pushed down. When the twin towers fell, this is when they came and snatched, snatched the majority of us that was in Barrow Street, and, and they put us on a big ass plane, King. That big, shit, big the plane. twin this towers got hit while you was in there? What is wrong, King? Oh, well, I was in Barrow Street. I was in Barrow Street when that happened. Crazy. You know what I mean? That's close. That's yeah. close to that shit. <laughs> I know. But peep game, yeah, people say it, people say it, okay? When when it happened now, a few days on a few days after they, they picked up um they picked, they, they got a big ass plane and put on the deport, not all, but the majority of us that was on Barrow Street, they, they moved us out from there and they carried us they carried us till touch um a prison in Louisiana, again. Okay? Till in Louisiana. Yeah? Mm. I mean, I'm in down, down, baby. Okay, you but yeah, Nelly and them niggas places, that place, them country places, man. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying, son? Word, crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, anyway, what are we doing now? What are we doing immigration now, right? When I get, when we get to the facility now, it's Guyanese on one side, and there's Cubans on the other side. You hear? Yeah. I'm in a prison with Cubans. Yo, you know what that means? The Cubans don't have no rights to be um, released into the, the, the streets or they don't get no rights to, they don't get to send back, they don't get to be sent back to their country. So they're, they're incarcerated indefinitely. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So that means, so that niggas just bitten. So when, we, when I reached out, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What? Why, 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 why here? You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't know guy in the guy in the was not, I didn't even know what is born. This is what is born is born. I didn't know guy in the was not taken back. You know what I'm saying? The boys, I'm like, yo, the fuck? What, even, what am I doing here with the Cubans? And when I got in, got around to it, it's like, yo, right now, Guyana's not accepting back, so y'all gonna y'all gonna have the Guyanese and his Cubans. Damn, son, it was like we're starting a, a bit all over again, because I'm like, yo, Tina, Louisiana, I'm out here with a bunch of niggas, I don't know these Cuban niggas. Yo, and these Cuban niggas, I ain't even gonna lie to you, son. These, these niggas was willing to, to, like, anything is a problem for them. You remember them niggas that stress the fuck out? They ain't never going home. They don't give a fuck who comes, who goes. So fuck you. That's the mentality of those, you know what I'm so saying? So what they do? They just keep them niggas in the, in the immigration spot forever? Oh, that's bad, gang. These niggas, these niggas, these niggas is just bitten. They don't, they ain't getting released into the streets here. They ain't getting released into the country. Now you tell me what the fuck is that. And the fucking, and the place, right? Not only that, but the, 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 the prison what I'm talking about, this shit, this shit, this, this, this shit looks so fucked up, son, it's ridiculous, son. It's just like them niggas put us like barbaric, like, and you know what I'm saying, like they wanted us to kill one another because, now, here it is, we got in these, I, I didn't know when, whenever Diana was going to take back, if we was going to take back, if, if it was going to take back, but they ended up saying to, um, which in, the Guyanese was arguing with the, Uni with the United um, States American government and saying, listen, man, them dudes going up there since they was kids, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all dudes created them, so y'all should keep them because, you know what I'm saying, these little islands, when we take them back, they, these dudes coming out here and, and, you know what I'm saying, doing a bunch of damage, causing a lot of damage. So we, we, don't, own, we don't have the right, the right um, things to, like, to, to accept these guys back into our, to our country. So, you know, y'all deal with them. You, you can't blame a country for speaking up for their rights. You understand what I'm saying? So, so the United States is like, oh, you, oh, because we raised them. We telling y'all, take them like, y'all don't want to take them back here. What we going to do for y'all? All the day. What the fuck is this? And the officials, we y'all calling yourself important. When y'all ready to come to our country, y'all motherfuckers can't come. But we going to revoke y'all fucking, y'all, y'all, y'all visas and all that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Is either y'all take back these motherfuckers or this is what we going to do? Next year, you know, guy, and I was like, well, guy, I know it's contemplating for like, yo, put it like this. I'm in immigration for a whole year, you know, waiting for here uh, one word from anybody. Nobody didn't tell me nothing, so I'm telling Louisiana with these fucking Cuban niggas and these niggas is not playing, son. I'm like, yo, yo, son, those are no lie. Watch this here. Yo, your brother, me, me, right? Simeon, right? I'm being straight with you, man. Since I know myself, you ask anybody that know me from small, from Brooklyn. My name ring. I go host. I'm on the island. My name rings. I goes up north. I goes. I really goes. I'm put it like this. I am really, really, really that dude. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know how to like pick up and toot my own horn. I don't know how to do it. I don't, don't like it. I, I don't even like people who just, you know what I'm saying? Like like take stuff like that and run with it because I don't know. It's, it's to me, I feel like it comes showing off, right? So this is why I've never been the type to really like highlight myself then. But I know who I am. You know what I'm saying, King? I know who I am. 
But one thing I did not anticipate was to be in the environment that I was in with these dudes here. I mean, where is born, you know what I'm saying? These dudes was, was <laughs> these dudes was ready for gold for nothing. And they was like, and for some reason I'm the target. Now, I don't know, I don't know if anybody ever told you how immigration is, right? It's like, it's like if, if, you know what I'm saying? If you're not a lawyer or nothing like that, you gotta, you gotta like, um, try to like see how you develop a, a case or develop the um, ways of trying to see how you could go about dealing with it on your own, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Now, while I'm here, these people is not giving us any type of like library, no nothing, no material, so you can try, no nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, so now, by I don't have no information on anybody, I'm in immigration, nobody don't know where I'm at. Nobody don't know where I'm at. Then I'm far away also, you know what I'm saying, King? Mm. Anyway, anyway, here this boy, my bitch starts, man. I'm exercising every day and chilling, exercising, chilling. Next to you know, uh, um, uh, one of the Caucasian chicks fell in love with me, see old lady, you know what I'm saying? So she used to be, she used to be writing me love letters and shit, you know what I'm saying, son? <laughs> so in the process of that happening now, in the process of that happening now, you know, you know, sometimes from dudes being, you know what I'm saying? You have a tendency, like, let's say for instance, you you, you fucking around a CEO or something. You won't, you you must find somebody you gonna tell, you know what I'm saying? Not saying you run in your mouth, but somebody you gonna say something to, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So my 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 neighbor, my neighbor, I ended up starting to show the nigga my my letters and shit. This lady used to rewrite me, you know what I mean? Thing, what is wrong? So I didn't know, I didn't know this nigga was like secretly down low hating on me for this white chick, you know what I mean? So what he did was. He conjure up a, a bullshit ass lie and go and tell one of his own um, Cuban homies that I said something about him. Now, last anybody that knows me will tell you I'm not them type of dudes. I don't get into the back by end. I don't be into the, the I don't think the regular shit what niggas be doing. I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because if I got something to say, somebody else sit in the face, or I don't say nothing at all. And I really, really mean that. So this, he bring this, I see these niggas ganging up, son. At this time, I didn't know how to speak Spanish back then, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't know what was going on. So you got the Guyanese and you got the Spanish. So now, these niggas is ganging up in the yard now for, 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 for us to get it in. And these niggas got some fucking knives longer than me, son. You know how short I am. I'm not no big tall nigga. These niggas had some long ass fucking guns and shit, man. Right? So I'm like, yo. This nigga went and speak. this nigga went and told this nigga a lie that I said something about him having the truck or whatever like that, and that's not true. That's not me, right? Anyway, I didn't know what the problem was trying to start because he wanted to get rid of me because the woman or whatever have you. When that people pe- was going on now, the dude now that, that he told he told that I said something about the dude now want to fight me now. So I'm like, oh damn, this motherfucker want to fight me, and it's a much more a much more you know what I'm saying older dude. So I'm like, damn. This motherfucker won't fight me. But yeah, what I didn't mind fighting the nigga for the first. I was like, yo, last. I don't mind fighting this nigga, but what the fuck am I fighting this nigga for? I know I didn't say nothing about this dude, you know what I'm saying? So everybody went to die. These niggas, I was here. These niggas was supposed to be like much more mature than me. These niggas was, was more grown. So these niggas wasn't really on go time. So it was like, you could say, like, I probably had had like one or two other dudes that was like on go time with me. So I didn't mind, you know what I'm saying? Because it was a lot of them cool, them Cuban niggas is deep, and them niggas stick together, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I said, all right, cool, I'm gonna fight this big motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? He was, he was, he was, he was a little taller than me, but he was much more mature, you could see it in his face. So, I told them niggas I'm gonna fight him, so I, 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 I go to my, my cell, <laughs> your last, keep this shit, sir. I go to my cell and I, and I collect two socks, right? And I put on the socks on my hand and I pull that shit till up to my shoulders, son. I'm not even gonna lie. Cause I, you know, I know they nigga got the trees up, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, I don't want when I, you know what I'm saying? I open up this fucking can of worms on this nigga, he scratch me or he pull me or anything. And you know what I'm saying? You know, when you, you, know, you want educated with the certain things you don't really know, you know what I'm saying? The do's and the don'ts and the ins and the outs. So I'm, I'm, I'm being extra, because I'm like, yo, I don't even want this nigga to breathe near me as soon as I, he, he come with that hand, hand, hand. This is, I'm rocking this nigga, you know what I mean? So niggas is laughing at me because I got a two, two long ass white socks <laughs> till up to my shoulders. Niggas is like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? <laughs> hey, yo, lies. Yo. Yo, lies, what the fuck? I'm like, yo, this motherfucker here, man, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, long story short, his homies, like, somebody ended up telling them something, something, right? Yo, lads, you know, like, they was trying to tell him, yo, leave that shit alone, you know what I'm saying? Shorty said he didn't do it or whatever, whatever. You know, this nigga went down in the middle of the yard, right? 
and like start beating on his chest. And this nigga, this nigga, the, the nigga made the chest a suggestion like he gonna rip his heart out, he gonna rip my heart and he gonna eat it. The nigga just kept showing me like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just imagine this shit, son. A nigga knocking on his chest and like pulling it and, and, and biting it to bite. He pulling his hand and his mouth like, like he biting my chest out of my fucking, my heart. I'm like, yo, damn, these niggas are some different kind of fucking crazy. <laughs> Now these Cubans that's there and these Guyanese people that you with, they all from New uh, York State Penitentiary or they from all over? They like from all over because here what happened after the 9-11 shit got like real funky man. Like niggas just started scramble eggs and motherfuckers. Wait, nigga, this is what I'm saying. Just imagine I'm down till down in some motherfucking country. Down, down, baby. Down by Nelly, man. The, the countryside, man. I don't know nothing about that shit. I'm in there with them niggas. You said he was acting like he was biting your heart in the middle of the yard? Yes, son, that shit had me fucked up. Cause I'm like, yo, it's a whole different kind of yo. I'm getting ready to get into it. Cause I never, yo, niggas never show me that shit. Yo, but, yo, yo, lads. I'm like, yo, <laughs> this nigga, this nigga won't eat my heart. Bro, not to cut you off, but let me say this for the listeners and the viewers that's out there. I was in Franklin with you when I was 17 years old. I was a kid. And I remember seeing you. I was on the, you was in the annex. And I was in the annex. Yes, sir. And yes, I remember sir. seeing yes, you and I said to myself, how the fuck a nigga this little got all these <laughs> niggas either under pressure or respecting him? Like your chest was out so crazy. I was like, yo, what the, who the fuck is this nigga? And then niggas put me on to who you was. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm letting the viewers know that. So, yeah, you in a whole si different situation that you never been in before. You feel me? But for the record, this nigga Simeon is a gorilla. Of course, of course. Of course. Nobody can deny that. And if a nigga deny him, there's something wrong with him, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Just imagine. I'm down in Guyana like a regular citizen. None of these motherfuckers where I'm living, I don't even know, you know what I'm saying, who I be, what I'm... You know what I'm saying? Something is hard, man, because sometimes what has happened, right? Uh, you have these experiences, right? What does it end up happening? Sometimes you, you, a lot of times people just try, just try to test you, you know what I'm saying? And it's real messed up, King, because remember you know you're dangerous, but these people don't know. So, like, I had to learn real hard and real fast, man. Because I would have kept all up. Anyway, don't let me get into the. Let me finish, let me finish. Ah, uh, yeah, so you in, the, yeah, uh, you in the yard with the Cubans. Yo, last one thing I'm going to tell you about me. Like, all my life, like, all my experience... It's like, it's like I always start and over, King. I'm telling you this here, from, from, it's like, it's like from New York to this, 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 the pen, you know what I'm saying? And then the, the, it's like everything is new. Coming to Guyana, then going to Venezuela, you know, everything is like, the, this, this process is being the same thing over and over. I gotta prove myself to people and these people don't even know who I be, no, nothing, 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 nothing. So, you know what I'm saying, when the nigga wanted to eat my heart, I'm like, yo, all that fucking thing, all that years of me putting that work, that shit go out the window, because last years I didn't do nothing to nobody because I had niggas who was doing shit for me. I didn't, I cause, I, you know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, now I gotta go back to <laughs> Burger nigga skin again. I'm like, okay, 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 okay. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Um, I don't really want no problem. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, as a warrior, you always you always want to protect yourself at all costs. You know what I'm saying? And that's me. I'm always I'm always in survival mode. I'm always you know what I'm saying, trying to like 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 cover my square. You know what I'm saying, son? So it's like. While I was there in the immigration thing, it was real tempting. I I, I had to say that was the first incident with them cats. Did, what did that what ended up happening with that with that nigga that was biting his heart and all of that shit was other guy and these niggas holding you down and all of that all right well well like i told you um rest the dead rest the dead you know what i'm saying with this immigration thing son just you know many of us go through of it go through it but not many of us make it out i want to say rest the dead to just to homie to my one of my homie l he was there you know what i'm saying l was definitely holding me down and matter of fact, he, it was only him, you know what I'm saying? They had another dude, but I can't remember his name, but Al D. Show, D. Show, you know what I'm saying? I came down here and, you know, he ended up... Anyway, I'm going to get into that about him also, because, you know what I'm saying, he was a part of this deportation thing. So it was like, the niggas, them, like, they squashed it. They are squashing it. After he said he's going to eat my heart, whatever he's going to do, whatever, them niggas told him to leave it alone, so he ended up leaving it alone. So I didn't have to, like, knuckle up and do him nothing. You know what I mean? But I never forgot about how that nigga was doing that shit, son. And when we do the movies, I want you to see this shit. You won't fall out, man. You will, because it's like this shit. <laughs> 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 I 
this shit here, this shit, look, I'm out of board to laugh, and I'm back home, this was like some scary shit, man, because I'm like, and I'm not, you can't scare me, niggas can't scare me for nothing, but I'm looking at this nigga, eyes opening, and he's just holding his, he's just going to pick his hand, put his, his, his heart, and pulling it to his mouth, and biting him, raising it up in the sky, like, raising it up in the sky, <laughs> <laughs> like if he had my heart in his hand and he bites in it, I raised it to police car. And he's saying he gonna get me in all kinds of But anyway, he ended up left in it. I used to have to watch him though, because I'm a person, you, you know, you can't just rock me to sleep like that. I used to watch that nigga. He used to air me up, but I used to be like, yeah, yeah, you hear me up to stay there, nigga, because I would bust your shit you come to. Yo, what's me, you are a palace, man? I'm not gonna allow you to come close to me no more, man. I, I, and that's why I see. When I used to crush niggas, King, I used to crush them right away. I don't fucking give you no chance to come and do me. Come on, son. You saw my height, man. You saw my height. I had a complex, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Facts. Yeah. But like so you said, said you said you said you got into another in, another incident with them Cubans? <laughs> hey, yo, yo, man. <laughs> yo, yo, lads. Hey, this shit here. The second incident now. I'm just, hey, this, this immigration shit, son. I'm telling you, it was like. But niggas be getting cut and stabbed up in immigration? Nah, not really, but these, but them niggas had some long ass fucking swords. At least I see like two of them shits when when me this nigga was getting rid of the thing. And I'm like, what the fuck are they doing over there? And to be honest with you, I wasn't even thinking about cutting this nigga. And they, and they had y'all in the thing. same, y'all was all in the same housing unit, the Cubans and the Guyanese. It wasn't no separation, like they just was on one side of the dorm or something. Or cells, it was cells, yeah, right? It was cells, cells, it was cells. Yeah, because I tell you, my, my, oh, my, oh. Um, the person next to me, this, this dude now, like I said, he friend me, man. He was, you know, I thought he was all right, man. I would have never showed that nigga no letter like that. They just be letting, letting people read the letter so he can feel good and knock a pump or whatever the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? This nigga gonna hate on me. Nick's be hating on me secretly, man, secretly, all the time, my whole life. But I'm not surprised. No, that's for real, for real, for real. I'm, I'm gonna get into that too, man, because yo, you see my face, son. I look, I look like I, like I, like I get hurt the fly, son. Let's keep it real with you, man. Like I look like I heard anything. Did, was you born with that? Um, was you born with that 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 genetic trait where you look young forever? No, I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you about that later, man. I, I don't want to really talk about that right now, man. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm, 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 we gonna get into that down the line, man. I, you know? I bet, I bet. But yeah, but, you. But, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm just letting you know they be hating on me. <laughs> hey, let me tell you, let me tell you this here, man. You know, the second incident with the Cubans, right? Um, other than the fact, other than the fact, um, that 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 you know you're stressed out, you're not getting in contact with nobody, you don't know if you're going or you're coming or anything like that, you know. It's like every day now you gotta be going through something prison wise. Remember now I don't already broke my mind like yo I'm getting ready to I'm getting ready to be free, I'm this and that though. You ain't expecting to be still dormant and shit and niggas starting problems with you or whatever have you. Anyway, son, this shit hey man, this shit <laughs> this shit all about to say, this shit never happened to me in the history or whatever. All my walks, man, this shit hit that 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 that, that happened. The second incident now. One night I'm in the shower, I'm bathing. Now, son, you 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 bit it, man. You know, niggas be bad. niggas be at the left of you, the right of you, behind some time, across from you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You don't be paying attention no more, right or wrong. You be paying, you be paying attention, niggas, when you bait a nigga. Not at all. <laughs> all right, cool. So I'm in the shower. One of the niggas came in the shower, and he slide down to the back. Well, I ain't paying this nigga no mind. I'm bait, I'm bait, I'm bait. Yo, son, I don't know what the fuck will decide to make me, like, open my eyes while I'm turning, looking, and, like, I'm turning towards the, the other direction, or while I'm turning, opening my eyes all at once. I just want you to just imagine this shit, right? I'm turning, washing the soap out of my eyes, King, and I'm turning, looking, while I'm turning, I'm looking, I'm seeing this nigga, like, like, with his meat, like, in his hand, pumping. I'm like, no, wait. No, wait, 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 wait. no, 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 stop, wait. Son, I washed out that soap out of my motherfucking eyes so fucking fast, son. Say, yo, last. Yo, last. Oh, man. It was a Cuban dude? <laughs> yo, big back Cuban freak ass nigga pumping his cock and watching at me, King. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Uh, that nigga crazy. 
yo, lads, that shit fucking crushed my ego, my pride, my what, yo, man, and oh, man, this nigga brought me down to a fucking act. <laughs> I'm like, yo, now, I'm, yo, I'm frustrated, I'm fuming, I'm, yo, I came out of the shower, went, oh, gone inside, dry off, control my, my fucking clothes, I'm waiting for this nigga, now, I'm like, yo, I'm a, I'm, yo, I don't even know what the fuck I want to do this nigga, but I know I gotta get that. <laughs> You know what's fast? I'm like, I gotta get that. Anyway, my homie L came and I told L what happened. L was like, what? So L, I ain't gonna lie, man. What's the dad? That nigga was really like, really like, you know, you, you know, you got some niggas always ready, like on go, like for nothing. You don't even gotta say smoke. He be like, yo, where's that? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I didn't, I, I didn't dig, I didn't dig homie style and shit. So I was like, yo, X Y Z. That nigga know. He was like, what? I was like, yeah, this nigga was pumping his cap, and yo, I'm like, anyway, the nigga, like, he took a little while before he came out of the showers, all the Cuban niggas came up, and they went to the showers, and they asked him what's going on, whatever, whatever, have you, and he was like, you know, like, lying to them, so L told him, yo, you gotta, you know what I'm saying, you gotta come down inside, because you gotta go to the cell, I was waiting for the nigga, man, I just waited for the nigga that was coming, son, and I rocked this nigga, son, I couldn't, yo, I ain't gonna lie, son. I rocked this nigga so hard, I bust his whole shit, his nose and his mouth, so I just, boom, boom, boom. Right away, son, cause I'm like, yo, you, yo, nigga, you know what the fuck? You, put it like this. I, the way I rock this nigga is like, I, I, I snap this nigga like, yo, you should know who the fuck I am, even though I know the nigga don't know who the fuck I am. <laughs> 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 yo, hey, but last, but by I put in so much work in my life, I'm like, yo, this nigga disrespect me, man. You know what it is for, motherfucker? Like, that's 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 violation, son. Come on, man. You know what I mean? Well, it's good off, huh? and, and you know something else I want to say, so I want to say too, last. I mean, earlier I mentioned something about the Cuban dude, you know what I'm saying, I heard he had AIDS, that's why I put on the socks till up to my shoulders, but um, what I'm trying to say to you is that I don't want nobody who might be suffering from any sickness or anything feel any way, like, you know, that I said something like that, you know what I'm saying, so far and self on that end, but I have to give it up, and a lot of them dudes that was in there was infected with it education plus not only that but the CEO lady was shining me to certain things you know what I'm saying she was letting me know like the, like the 200 of them there like at least 89 of them had it or something like that son you know what I'm saying yeah because this, this chick was really like on me like that like that you know what I'm saying so I knew everything was going on so you got to really use precaution when I rocked the fuck out that nigga face son I was like yeah man anyway it was a big thing we were, we were supposed to get it in the yard you know what I'm saying now they ganged up me, L, and like a few other straggler niggas was like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, he now had to end up apologizing to me, you know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't letting that shit ride like that, son, you know what I mean? They wasn't moving me, they wasn't moving him, no nothing, because they got us, you know, they got us like fucking animals, man, you know what I'm saying? You put, you put motherfuckers in a fucking place, like, yo, this, this place was so dark, son, it's like, every day you get up, you there in the day room, the day room, the lights is dull, you know what I'm saying? There's no activities, no this, no nothing, and everybody's just sweating and looking at one another. These niggas over there, niggas over here, and I'm like... It was, it was dumb hot in the jail all the time? Yeah, son, the shit was like, you know, some shit you, some shit you would see in the movies, man, because I'm going to be honest with you, man. It's now, it's now that I'm, I'm more mature, and now that I, 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 I've taken the initiative to view back on certain things, I've realized that everything that, you know what I'm saying, that, that was implemented when it came to the, the system, man, it was it was really a test, and I, you know what I'm saying, everything for them was a test towards us, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, so it's like... It either make you or break you, but what happened with me, I'm just so thankful that the universe always on my end, it's always, always, yo, 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 lad, let me tell you this, all is born, man, I, I've been going through it from the day I stem, I stumble out of it, I've been going through it, going through it, going through it, and I'm going to tell you this, one thing I want to say, right, um, the Chinese people, the Chinese people, I'm going to be honest with you, I, 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 you know, I, I, I don't want to come, come up with what we're talking about, but I, I'm going to be honest with you, the Chinese people, they, 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 was, they really hard wrenching people, man, because when, when I first got dip when I came back here, I came back home here, these people don't know how to, like, show you love, King. These people don't have no love for you, they don't have no respect for you. I don't know if they, you know, some of them going to see this and they go ahead, but I don't give two flying fucks. I'm just speaking my truth, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers, they used to be real disrespectful towards deportees and stuff like that. They used to, like, 
like like tease you they used to like look at you wrong they used to talk you down like 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 it's like to a point like if people didn't want you around like they you know what I'm saying they disrespect you curse you about being in the forties and stuff like that you know what I mean but it's just that by me being the individual I am you know what I'm saying and I you know what I'm saying I used to look past a lot of that stuff you know what I mean but the Guyanese didn't make it easy man and I'm gonna be honest with you I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you something my transition <laughs> my transition from 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 um, immigration, from being deported straight back to, to Guyana. Very, very hard, King. It was very, very hard because remember now, I don't know nothing about this. And a lot of us who were coming back here was left since we were young, so we didn't know nothing about it. And this is why I want to make a note about this deportation, this immigration thing, King. This is why I think it was so important because a lot of times these people experiencing these things, they probably have people who experience it now and people don't know anything about it. So this is why I always said, man, anytime my mics get turned on, I know one day my mics was going to turn on. You know what I'm saying? I was going to shed some light on it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's very, it's, it's, it's real, it's a real messed up situation because mentally you don't have no stability in terms of people coming to assist you to find out how you're doing to check into your paperwork no nothing not just imagine you in a in, you in an environment you ain't getting no phone call nobody's coming to see you you don't have no library you don't have this you don't have all you have is you and these inmates and either y'all kill one another or whatever it is y'all want to do with one another and these people just done with you they ain't got no time with you and that shit was real messed up after doing 10 years son you know what i'm saying after i do my 10 years and they have to face that shit it's like like i said i I have to be thankful for the universe because if I wasn't strong, you know, that shit was supposed to break me. Plus, I'm gonna tell you now, right? All right, after being in being in the, in, the, in the prison with the Cubans or whatever, whatever have you now, I end up there. Um, they end up transferring a lot of us, separating a lot of us, and sending us to other prisons. But, you know, the niggas moved me like to like three or four different um immigration holding place on or down south you know what i'm saying and and the last one let me let me show you something like let me show you how messed up it is right they had me <clears throat> excuse me they had me they had me with some some with some dudes in the population in this prison right and i'm going every day every day like a regular prison i'm in the prison with these people and i'm i'm, I'm and i yes i'm an immigration person i'm not supposed to be in no prison with population right so Plus, like, I'm, like, looking at these dudes, like, I'm, like, yo, these fucking people, like, they don't got my jacket. Because if you got my jacket, how you gonna put me with these niggas? Y'all gonna see you putting, it's like they putting, you ever see, like, when the, when the, when the fucking lions go after his prey, it's like, them niggas is like, yo, I would, I would eat these niggas, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, like, how they got me with these cats here? You talking about in, Lu in Louisiana? Yeah, yeah. Because <clears throat> after the Cuban... After the, with the Cuban, the Cuban nation, they attend them splitting us up because, like I said, every other day is always some some issue, some issue, and for some reason it's with me. The niggas, the niggas, the niggas always picking on me, man. You know what I'm saying, and you know, like I said, I don't want to let no fire. I don't want to shoot no nobody, man. I didn't want to shoot nobody. It's years I didn't shoot nobody neither. I'm a so so now it's like my mind frame wasn't even in that, you know what I'm saying? For shooting nobody, and not only that, plus I wanted to, te wanted to test out my my steel off game. So I, I, I used to like try to see if I can knock niggas out, make it sound like the movies. <laughs> you know how the, in the movies where you come for niggas, <laughs> just nothing niggas. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, hey Naz, I fucked with you, man. I love your sense of humor, King. Or is born, not coming up, not coming up the story, man. But yo, I'm telling you, son. I'm like, yo, these motherfuckers are starving me. I'm in reg a regular population, whatever, whatever. You want me to tell you something last? I must be wrote like at least 50 million letters trying to get attention to let these people look. look. I'm in general population. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, um, I, I'm a NIS inmate, meaning I, I'm, a, I'm a part of um, immigration, and I ain't supposed to be here. Could y'all please, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, ex nobody ain't paying me no mind. I ain't getting no message or nothing. Anyway. And I met, I, I ended up meeting like two dudes and shit. That was all right. You know what I'm saying? One of them niggas plugged me with a girl. She fell for me. I'm, I was thankful. I can't remember her name. I wish I could have, because I would have shot out right now. You know what I mean? Because she, she definitely looked out for me, come through, whatever, a couple of more, and showed the boy some love. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Yo, last, nobody paying me no mind. I'm, not, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? When am I going to leave? You want me to be honest with you, last? Now, remember I told you it's 10 years I did, I did, I did 10 years for my body, right? Now, I did a year, one year and a half in immigration, right? And that one year and a half, I never cried as much as I've cried in that one year and a half than, than within my 10 years. 
That shit was super stressful, I know. Yo, son, yo, son, it was like, I was like, 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 I'm in a, I'm like, I'm like, is this a scary fucking dream? And I'm not, oh, I'm not waking up, I'm not opening my eyes, but how this shit gonna turn out? Because you writing people, you, you, you know, it's like you scratching and nobody ain't hear you, and even if they hear you, they ain't paying you no mind. So after a while, I said, yo, man, these motherfuckers, they, these niggas want me to start, like, like, bullshit. And the thing is, I didn't want to do nothing to nobody, thing. Just so happened, me and one of the dudes now, now, here they say another thing, like, I'm a dude since I'm small, anywhere I'm at, once they got bullies, they just get rid of them. I don't like bullies. I don't like motherfuckers who's bullies. I never like that shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna lie with you. If, if you was to talk to some of my fucking foes, them niggas that, that I, I shot or whatever, they would even tell you why I shot. I never liked the bully. Enough of them niggas. I don't like bullies, so don't come around me with it. So the bully for the prison of some, for some reason, me and him reach each other. We reach each other. I don't know how. I can't remember how. So he, he said something, and I, I, I said back something to him. But what I said to him, he couldn't hear me, right? So he didn't know that this, that, that was an old tactics of me. When I, sometimes when I want to, you know what I'm saying, if I want to shoot a nigga close by and nobody don't know it's me, I, I would say something to you. And you, you won't hear me. So by you won't hear me, you won't bend your head and reach to me. So you, so I have no choice but to, you know what I'm saying, give you everything else you, that, that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? So what happened was I said something to him, right? And he didn't hear me. I know he didn't hear because I did it on purpose. And he reached over. When he reached over me, I just hugged him and shut him. I said, oh, man, if I was there for problems, man. Oh. When, when he leaned over to me, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I said something to him, I know he couldn't hear me. So the only next thing he going to do, he said, huh? And leaned over. So when he leaned over and said, huh? I hugged him and I showed him that, you know what I'm saying? Yo, either way, I could have hurt him or he could have hurt. Either way, he could have went, right? But I'm just giving him the heads up like, yo, I'm not here for this. I've done eight is right here and then, you know, last. He didn't even know, right? Anyway, I left him like that. But he said something slick and he said it hard when he walked away, you know? And then he walked away. So he didn't know I was already done from tired of that fucking prison. So I was on my I was getting ready to come out of there. So I had a plan. I, I cooked up a plan with one of my with, with my cellmate. You know what I'm saying? It's my cell. He was real cool. It was real cool, man. You know what I'm saying I, I, you know, you know what I did last. You, you know, you know what I ended up doing, King. Right. You know, um, but I wasn't getting no attention. Just imagine, you, you, you ain't even had niggas in prison could have do it to your brother. But I had to make that nigga cut me in my back, King. You know what I'm saying? Get long ass cut in my back. Because it's like this, if, 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 if I get injured, I can put in a lawsuit, or if I get injured, they can push me out of the country and send me back to wherever. I don't give a fuck if it's Mars, Pluto, wherever, you know what I'm saying? So, cool. I took my bunkie to cut me, and, and while we were going chow, I fall out the line. Now they got me on key lock. This nigga scared, sending messages, yo, I'm hearing them, you know, son? Yo, son, you know that's that part of me you had, man. These people thinking I had something to do with you getting cut, man. Yo, see what you can do for me, man. I'm like, yo, dude, be easy, man. You ain't got nothing to do with this. Them, th- them folks come to see me, man. I'ma tell them what's up. The fuck, I didn't see who do this, but I know it's why. I know they sure you wasn't there. You know what I mean? He like, yo, yeah, thanks, man. Yo, this is the same bully, you know, same nigga and shit. I could have fucked him up and see, yeah, he did. And this man third got his ass and shoved like a like a, a normal clown just do the fuck. To people because I want to come out or whatever. But I'm like, yo, dude, I got this, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all these dudes don't know me. They don't know nothing about me. They're just looking at me as a little dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, cool. You know what I mean? So after being there for a couple of mornings, it's like I'm been. I've been, I've been a whole year and a half there. Like I said, I cried like a baby, son. I'm like, I ain't even. Boy, yo, last. I don't. Fuck yeah, I'm I'm the type of person, son. I speak the truth. I don't know how to lie, and I don't like lies, you know. What I'm saying? So if I tell you I cry like a baby, trust me, like a fucking baby. For the whole year and a half, I'm like, God, why nobody come to talk to me? Like a baby, like a baby, like a baby, baby, like a baby, like a baby, like a baby, like a baby, I'm, I'm, you know why I'm laughing last? I'm laughing because I got life right now and I could afford to reflect back on it. But back then, that shit was not funny, my G. Not funny at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, uh, was, you know that shit, is, that shit is torture, bro, when you... When you you know, you ain't even... You, you ain't been back in your... You ain't been in that country since you was a child. You came to you know, know your regular life over here. You feel what I'm saying? And then they force you to go back to your country and nobody and people treating you like you dead 
Oh, sh- exactly. Yo, but that, but that, yo, hey, let me tell you this here. Let me tell you, I'm glad you say that. I'm glad you say that because what you did there, you opened the door for me to make, to make me speak on this part here. Now, I know uh, um, for many years, many years, right? Um, I, one or two people send me, inbox me and, 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 and send me one or two, um, like they have, like different websites who, who did stories on me or they did little write-ups on me and you know what I'm saying everybody took their shots and do whatever 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 but nobody never got my story or whatever and you know one or two of them them, them sites I actually went to visit and enough of them do you have one or two people talking about oh I pee to me and I'm like damn like I'm really fucking dead these niggas think I'm dead or some niggas are all I me king but what ended up happening rest in peace to my little brother Webb you know what I'm saying when I had when I had that on oh, that on Facebook and I got out to him. This nigga was like, yo, son. Uh, right now, I got tears in my eyes. I was like, yo, what's up? He's like, yo, for years, I'm thinking you're dead. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, no people think you're dead. I'm like, how is that? But when I investigated, um, the rest of the, the, rest of the day, there was this dude from Flatbush. I'm from Flatbush, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, Flatbush, stand the fuck up, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's like this, man. And, um, this this little dude, he had my name. He was from Rogers Ave. I'm from Rogers Ave, you know what I'm saying? And it's like he had my name, but he wasn't no gangster, he wasn't no nothing. I knew him, I knew him. Real cool dude, man. But I never knew he died until I hear everybody kept saying, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who was the, the rest in, the, the rest in peace in me, King. And, but when I started looking at it, I'm like, yo, eventually it looked like if I was dead for true because you got motherfuckers knew where I was at, and you got motherfuckers who didn't know. Because like I said, I went on one or two websites because one of my homies started pulling these websites up and showing me where they're writing up about me, like you're giving me my props, yo, the legend, this and that, third. But one thing I'm gonna tell you, right? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna tell you this here, guys. I don't wanna toot my own horn or nothing like that, but I did a lot of shit for a lot of motherfuckers, and a lot of people is ungrateful. And to be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not upset or nothing like that. At first, I used to be upset because I didn't really know why, you know what I'm saying, everybody turned it back on me, you know what I'm saying? I used to wonder like that, what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? I ain't doing nothing wrong, I'm, I'm the people's champ. Put it like this, yo, lads, you want me to be honest with you? I'll I be listening to a lot of dudes talk, I'll be, I be, I be, I be, I be reading through the lines. I, yo, let me tell you something, man. Niggas can't, like, like people can't, like, sneak, sneak nothing past me, you know what I'm saying? I, I see through people, I feel, I feel people energy, you know what I'm saying? I'll be seeing niggas be talking, and, and you know what I'm saying, doing, you know what I'm saying? Certain comments, having certain conversation is like, and it's like motherfuckers is like, like you ain't even alive no more for real. So after a while, I'm like, yo, oh, damn, like I'm dead to them niggas too. You know what I'm saying, son? But um, like I said, my transition to Guyana was real messed up too. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I want to go into the Guyana part of this thing here because that part. Remember, remember I told you about my bag? Well, I lost my bag. I lost my manuscript in there too. I lost my manuscript in my bag. Um, also, and that was so important to, uh, and I lost, I lost two manuscripts to be honest with you, one, one and a half, I, I just started another one, you know what I'm saying, and to be honest with you, King, it's, I'm so thankful that I have, have written it, the, the Library of Congress is still there, you know what I'm saying, mm. yeah, I never forget that, I lost all that in my bag, son, in my, yo, man, that shit hurt me, my bag, yo, that, that, I never, yo, that, yo, I never felt so hurt before, King, I, I lost my bag with everything in it, son. Them niggas should, should they should have got sued, they should have got sued for that. They should have got know, sued. I was trying to see, son, I was trying to see how I could get a money out of it. I, I, yo, yo, they could have kept, yo, I had jewelry and all that in there. Where is bone? Because I'm, I'm coming home. People send me clothes and boots and all that. And I'm like, yo, fuck on that. I wanted the other stuff, the sentimental stuff, like my letters and my pictures. You know what it is? You bid, you, when you bid the dudes, right? You and you and these dudes become like brothers. You did that before, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, you was in Frank, but I was in Frank with Un, man. I'm trying to highlight this nigga. Yo, this that's my dude, dude. You know what I'm saying? Look, I don't know how to like like highlight niggas. I don't highlight niggas. That's my fucking dude. You know what I'm saying? Anytime I talk to dude, I know it's gay. It's green light, man. Cause that's a real fucking dude. You know what I'm saying? What niggas who I used to throw was real oh, last. It's now how I know niggas ain't real, man. I yeah. love that nigga, on boy. Bird. That's a real nigga, you know. Some real, real nigga, son. Yo, matter of fact, you you kind of remind me of that nigga, son. To be honest with you. <laughs> Yo, is that nigga got me started rapping? That nigga, you know, that's that's he Wu Tang, right? And this nigga, this nigga used to be like, no, that was my dude, son. That nigga started me telling me to rap and showing me how to rap, showing me how to write rhyme. And next thing you know, we was doing a show, so we did the show in Frank. The one boy you asked, whenever if he give you a uh, man, which and I'ma tell him he gotta give you, a, yo, last you that dude for YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gotta come to you. You know what I'm saying? You the gatekeeper, man. And niggas gotta come to you. Niggas gotta give you that. 
if you, when, you, when you do talk up to him, he'll tell you, yo, what is I, I, I started, you know what I'm saying? And, and we did a show, all that he would tell you, son. Is that nigga gave me my rap name, nigga just to call me Shorty Rumble. Nigga had me gas. I'm like, what? Shorty Rumble? Shorty Rumble. The nigga that brings the motherfucking rope is Shorty Rumble. The nigga that brings the motherfucking rope is Shorty Rumble. The nigga that brings the motherfucking rope is Shorty Rumble. I'm holding the fort down. I'm rumbling to have you on the rim. I'm about to nigga with the brains, yeah. I got this stumbling. No, it's not kiss close. I'm trying to make it lost and I did. Back up, no, back up. My people is running the cap up, bro, 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 bro. Yo, that shit had me jazz. You couldn't tell me nothing after that. I was like, yeah, nigga, I'm a rapper. I'm, I'm I know Wu Tang. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you guys, but that's my dude, though, man.